Beatmaker Squad, what's good? It's your boy Cheese. So it's finally here. Beatmaker 3 is dropped. Uh, from what I'm hearing, some people have it in some locations and other locations hasn't quite uh, got to the app store yet. Be patient. It's on the way. Um, so what I, I just dropped another tutorial about how to use um, other apps within Beatmaker 3. Um, but what I forgot was this is one new thing with Beatmaker 3 that is going to make your life miserable at first so in order to keep you from having miserable early experience with beatmaker 3 watch this tutorial it's how to set up your midi controller with the drum pads on beatmaker 3 because it's not just it doesn't it is not exactly the same way as it was on beatmaker 2. so um check this out all right y'all peach beatmaker squad what's good your boy cheese so uh what's good your boy cheese so um I just thought about it and I, I'm doing this another tutorial for y'all right quick because if there's anything that's going to drive people crazy today, it is this. Um, so basically when you get into Beatmaker 3, like I told you before, every every pad is its own keyboard sampler. So what that means is like when I connect my MIDI controller to it, like let's say I have this sound selected, what's going to happen is when I hit my MIDI controller. It's just gonna be pitching that sample up and down, okay? So there's a very quick and very easy um, solution to this. I'm gonna show you how you do this, okay? So what you have to do, I don't have a MIDI controller with me today. Um, I, I, I have it, but I left my wire at home. I'm always like leaving something. But anyway, what you have to do is you're gonna press these three, the, the three lines right here in the corner, up in that corner right there, press those three lines, okay? Then you're gonna go to settings right up here. Okay, then from settings, you're gonna hit MIDI. Okay, and then, so like for that, um, for that, that particular drum program, I had drums on pad one through 10, I believe. So what I would end up doing is like, if I had my MIDI controller, what I would do is I would select the pad I want. Then I'm gonna just simply press the, the note on, the, on the, the keyboard or the pad on the drum pad that I want to control this here. So I have to press the physical, so hold on, let me get my, so what I would do, okay, <laughs> literally is I would press, let's say I wanted it to be triggered to by this key here, I press that key and then it will show up there, okay? But like I said, I don't have the, the wire to connect today, so I um, uh, can't really show you what I wanna show you. Um, there's also a way to save these and load them okay so this is your focus action template you can save them and load them and um yeah and, and that right there is probably gonna like knock out a lot of your headaches today so i'm gonna upload this asap right now all right y'all peace